Greetings everyone, Doc Russell here, and welcome to day 27 in the 7 Days to Die Home Makeover series, where I'm living in what was originally a dilapidated POI house that I've been restoring as much as possible in standard game mode, while enduring the hordes every 3 nights, and of course, tonight is day 27, so tonight is horde night. In the last episode, we basically completed all the constructions, except for that little mess up right there. All the windows have been installed, everything that needs to be built has been built, everything that I remember to paint has been painted, the grass is all cut down here. So the core purpose of the series has been completed. You are not a core purpose. Exactly. How'd that work out for you? See? You're not a core purpose. Go away. As I was saying before lunch so really interrupted me, the core purpose of this series really has been completed, so today I'm going to see about adding, you know, furniture, decorations, things like that. Keep in mind, uh, in real life, this is the exact opposite of who I am. Um, I keep my house very, very simple. That's kind of why the inside of this house, you can see all the walls are the same color, all the ceilings are the same, the floor is the same, all the decks front and back are the same. Everything's pretty monochromatic. Um, the standard game mode also has very little as far as what I can do. I mean, I know I can make a king-size bed, a couch, a TV, but not really much more than that, so I don't really like the idea of, you know, just making a few things and that's it. But, hey, it may just be what it is because of the limitations. And again... I still have not decided how we're going to do this thing going forward. You know, there's a strong enough case that the last episode should have been the last one, since technically we're all done. So, but I figured, hey, tonight's Horde Night. I never did get the cement that I wanted, so I really wanted to turn at least, you know, around the area and things like that into cement. So if nothing else, maybe buy some cement. Because, I mean, come on, it's day 27. Yeah, we, we reset on day 12, but still. Um... Yeah, we, we gotta have some stuff going on here. Gotta have some cement. So let's run back downstairs. I want to see how far away am I when it comes to basic needs. I have... Okay, here, here's a cloth. Here's springs. Here's pipe. There's leather. Now, if I'm gonna make a bed... I was looking at this before. Okay, I got the cloth. I'm gonna need cotton. That's not difficult. Need a little more springs. So really, I need five more springs, which I can get from cars, and then just go cut out a bunch of cotton. So I'm sitting okay on that. I'm just going to put away some of the stuff we just got. And we're not going to need the meat or anything else like that. Not going to need this. You can go away. Okay, so these things right here are kind of my ingredients. That I'm gonna need for a bed. Um, okay, that was that. Now let's go to the next one. Couch. So we've got a variety of couches. You got the old sectional couch, you got leather, you know, the one piece leather sofa. Okay, that's not bad. Nails, we can make those down there. Um, sectionals, I guess we can change. Okay, we, got the, we got the shape icon, looks like we can move. I'll rearrange those. I do kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. And then regular sofa. Again, the one that's not in the greatest shape. A, a chair. Uh, question is, though, where... I mean... I thought about making a sofa and then a TV. This is almost like a dining room kind of area. But not there. This is maybe like... A couple of chairs on each side, looking at the fireplace. Maybe a couch dead center you can walk around. Um, same thing here. You can kind of look towards the windows. You know, you know, sitting rooms, living rooms, typically have some sort of focal point. If nothing else, it's towards the middle of the room. If you're going to have like a TV watching room, I don't really have a good one. Because, I mean, like here, I could put a, a couch here, but then you're looking at a half wall. So either I'd extend the wall out to put a TV on it, or you're going to sit here on a couch, kind of tilt your head on an angle to watch the TV in the corner. 
Or I guess I could put a TV there, but now my couch is kind of in the floor here. You know, same thing, so... Yeah, it's, it's going to take a little creativity or couch here and put the TV like way above there and get a kink in your neck. So not a lot of good options. So, yeah, we might, although the construction is complete, we may want to do a little more construction just to uh, get those to work out a little better. So in the meantime, uh, what, what do we need again? We need cotton and we need about five more springs. And, of course, the trader. I want to see if the trader's got any cement. So maybe first things first, let's ho head over to the trader and see if Grumpy has any cement. I really want a cement mixer, but I think I already looked for that. Do we have a way to get cement today? Okay, please have something other than an attitude. It's a tall order, but hey, you know, we'll still go with it. Um, cement. Oh, he does have a cement mixer for 7,500, of which I don't have 7,500, but I really need a cement mixer. Um, so yeah, I really need things, so if we need to make money, what better way to make money? Then play a little GTA version, and let's just strip some cars, sell the parts. Think about like a chop shop, just no shop. Welcome to Trader Joe's. Everything in here has a full no money back guarantee. Yeah, you also got a no logic back guarantee as well, which by the way you're doing very well on. Okay, so cement mixer is 7,500. I got 64. So we're gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell all of the. Wait, do I need these? Yeah, I can get plenty of them. Polymers. Sell those. Headlights. Sell those. Oil. Sell those. 74.52. We're getting there. There we go. And I will buy a cement mixer. So let's go ahead and get this cement mixer installed. Kind of get rocking and rolling on what we can do with it. We're gonna stick it over here somewhere because I can. Again, my logic on life. Why do I do things? Because I can. All right. So yeah, crush sand, all that wonderful stuff. I have wow, 71 crush sand. Not as impressive as I was hoping for. Not like these guys. Okay, so concrete mix. Takes crushed sand, small stone, and cement. So let's just make 70 just to kind of get things rolling. Then let's make... I'm halfway delusional. Crush sand. Put the 500 over here where it belongs. And they'll make five... Now notice that. That's only a minute and a half to make 500 of those, so this will all fly. So in three and a half minutes... I can come back here. Okay, so what we got going on now. So for the king size bed, I've got the springs, I got all this stuff, I just need the cotton. Okay, here's a bunch of cotton right here. I saw on the way to the trader. Probably not 40, but it's enough that's going to make a nice dent. Let's... Hit up as many of these as I can find. Oop, let's get to here. Okay, so this is all set. Come back down to concrete mix. We got 501. So let's make a nice even 500. Put you there. Yeah, I like to store my stuff even though this is the output. I'll store it there because that... That way I just know right where it's at. Okay, there's my king-size bed. So let's go ahead and put the bed up in place. Now, I want to see if, how it fits, because I'd like to have it centered. Yeah, like there. Okay, so there's the bed. And I can put end tables in each side, you know, things like that. Bookcase, bookcase empty. 
cube bookcase. Yeah, like one of these things, three chat side of the bed. But maybe something not quite as thick. Oh, just open ended. Oh, it's kind of it's a little more of a modern look to it. Think about those. Now, let's get those out of here. Cause I like having my empty hand to look around, so I could do something like that. Or let's pick up those different shapes we can go with for a uh, end table. I mean, that's your real end table, but let's go with. Um. Okay, do I have anything that's not as deep? Yeah, something like this. Come on. Yeah, something like that. So, we can go with that type, or a little more modern, fully open type. Yeah, some may not get that one, so... Yeah, we'll go with those. We'll just not solidify them just yet. But hey, looks kind of like a bed or bedroom. Now, if we go with couch, yeah, I'd like to put a couch right there. Even if there's nothing that it goes to, a couch there, um, like a chair there. Okay, hold on a second. Gotta see what I'm doing. Nails! 86 nails. Let's go with them. And... Yeah, that's it. 86 nails. Okay. So I can make... A, this black couch, I can make these sectionals. You know, if I can change the shape on these, let's go ahead and craft one of these. And then see what I can do with it. Could also put them here, just facing inward, I suppose. You don't have to look out the window. Yes, yeah, so if I... Ooh... Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's that it's the trim that it doesn't like. Okay, so maybe I will have to put it. Could I put one in the corner here? Oh, I can do corners, I can do blue. The blue just kind of looks like it's really dirty. Let's not go with the blue. Gray's not looking a whole lot better. But it works, at least. So let's go with... Three more of those. Okay, so let's put our gray sector... So now we got something in here, at least. We can sit down on, we come into here, we can look out the window, we can sit in the corner... Always got our back to safety. But we are going to need some more for upstairs. So let's get up here. Yeah, I'd like to have a couch in here. What can we do? That's the chair. That's the sofa. Yeah, let's go ahead and craft one of those. And what about the TV? What's it take? Polymers, electrical parts. Oh, more glass. I need to make another glass then. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put you like that. Fine, I'll eat food. Eventually. 
Uh, let's put you down here. Where's that table I was looking at for decorations? Yeah, dynamic table. Why has it got to be a dynamic table? Why can't it just be a table? Yeah, like that. Give me that. Okay, I got most of the cement. We'll save a little extra. You do want to keep a little extra cement just for repairs on Horde Knight. Should something happen... Did this little guy up there as well. But yeah, essentially, let's keep myself safe. So now, when they fall, and they want to go into destroy everything mode, they can beat on this. It's, it's much more durable. What they're actually interacting with up here is more durable. That's better. They will hit some of these eventually, but... The big ones that I really wanted to address now have been addressed. And as I said before, I always want to hang on to a few of these just in case. You're gonna need something for repairs. The concrete mix, what can I make now? 349. Let's make an even 300. Thank you. Okay, so I can make a TV. Well, let's just make one TV and let's just kind of see what this is like. Uh, frankly, I haven't made a TV, or at least I have, it's been such a long time, I don't remember. You can see there's left, right, you know, there's a variety of things. So let's see how big is this one. Okay, that's... That's a tv size television. Okay, that's... But let's put the TV up here. If I got a couch there... Oh, that is kind of a small TV, though. Eh, it'll work. Now these things here, this is another thing to reinforce. Nope, not with that. Just because I got stuff behind it. So let's go ahead and reinforce those. Solidify these things. And this one as well. Like what color should I make this one? Let's go with some... Um, Queen's coating? No, yeah, that's, that's the polished floor. It's the wood fence. Yeah. Well, whatever we do, let's do it to everything. So that's the fence. It would kind of give it a little bit of a rustic look to it. It wouldn't be default color, but it wouldn't be the same as the floor. So yeah, kind of give it a little bit of a rustic look. I did have a thought about um, redoing stuff on the outside of the house. Maybe I should put in like some, uh, you know, some of the farm plots. And I thought about maybe putting putting farm plots like right along here, like a tiny garden. Or I guess I could put some up here too. But yeah, I guess you typically put gardens in the back of the house. So you know, maybe put something back here, like like I said, like a small garden, or right next to the the deck there. So. Just a thought we could do. We have uh, plenty of time, plenty of options. But for now, there's not a whole lot left until Horde Night, so since there's not much left to Horde Night, maybe we should just go ahead and skip ahead to Horde Night and see what happens. There we go. Let's go ahead and do all three of these doors. There we go. Oh, just like that. It's like we planned it. Well, kind of did, but... Not every plan is good! Okay, there's one visitor. 
Jeez, where is everybody? Ah, uh, now they're slowly trickling in. That's a ferocious beat of a zombie. Yeah, this is why that mod really helps me out, because I know... Kind of reminds me of, okay, who's taken damage and who hasn't. Okay, apparently I'm taking damage. Stop beating on things that are smarter than you are and just walk down here. Okay, Hank and your twin. Okay. Catch your kneecaps. I got a skill point! Okay. Y'all can go away. Well, then don't do that. It's really not that difficult. I mean, it is if you don't have the ability to learn. And ineptitude really appears to be your talent. Come on, a little more. A little less... What, with a three of you now? I think about my bat as like an oversized drumstick. Because I like playing the drums. And, you know, different heads make different sounds. Hard hats kind of more like a crash cymbal. Gives like a tap on it, more like a ride. Oh, a little thunk to it. Okay, that one's maybe a little bent. More of an entry level cymbal, but hey, such is life. And just like cymbal stands fall over, so do they. Which is why I put my drum set on a rack. Where are you going? I'm over here. Bad doggy. Oh, that was talented. And you just literally fell off for no good reason. Oh, that's a... Oh, oh we're going to do like this? Stop moving. Just stand still and take your beating like a good doofus. Like that. You keep jumping up like it's going to help you at all. You're delaying the inevitable. Okay, that's it. Go away. No one loves you. Or you. Cardinal rule, don't put it away without reloading it. When I break it out, I need it to be fully functional, not 11 out of 15. Go away. Oh. 
Got another point. Yeah, got two skill points to spend. Again, with the series coming to a close, I got extra skill points. What are we actually going to spend those on? Okay, about halfway through the Horde night, a little over halfway. 1.12 a.m. Got dancing, dancing utility workers, and they're not singing the YMCA. Not sure if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but uh, okay. Got a little stab action here and see what happens. Oh, that's right. Good eye. Good question. If zombies are beating on stuff, how is my home insurance going to accept that? Am I covered for zombie damage? Uh, that it? Hello? It's only one thirty. Okay, let's put on the lucky goggles. Let's see how much luck we can actually get here. Um, schematic for an AK forty-seven. That's not bad. Push other stuff. Okay, so now let's. Break out the uh, the hammer here and just see how much damage they did. Kind of going across here. I mean, 49. I'm not going to bother with that. Considering I've repaired like 300 damage at a time. So they are doing that. They are still beating on the house during the night. Whoa, they actually took out some steps. That's not cool. What means there is I may want to take that out so they don't think of that as a jumping path across. Oh, that one's gone as well. Actually, no, let's just go right to paint all sides. Cover all that. And then we'll come back here and fix this one. So, that is the end of the Horde Knight repairs, thus the end of the episode. The construction on the house is completed, I've added a few pieces of furniture and a TV, I added a cement mixer, there isn't anything significant more to do in survival game mode, and yes, I can add another bed or couch, but as I already have one of each of those, adding another is just not significant. At this point, I've completed what I set out to accomplish, which is restore a dilapidated, rundown, piece of junk POI into as pristine of a condition as possible in the standard game mode, in other words, not using the cheat mode to give me anything I want, which means... We have reached the end of this series. I haven't ruled out doing another episode where maybe I add a few more things or actually use cheat mode and really finish off the house in style, but I'm not committing to that. If I do, it will not be on any schedule, but rather when I can just fit it in. So this marks the official end of the series. I've learned a lot about simply playing Seven Days to Die versus playing in a way that allows for editing of the recordings. Frankly, I have a ways to go in that area. I know I can do better, and one such way is to allow for more time to complete each episode. As is probably obvious, YouTube is just a hobby and not my means of income of any kind, 
so I have to fit it around my work schedule and other obligations that frankly consume a fair amount of time. If I do another series, once a week is probably going to be the schedule. I made this series to give back to the gaming community since I watch a lot of YouTube while I do my regular day job. I did that because I know there are probably others that might be looking for more content as well. That being said, there are a lot of gaming channels, so making videos that people want is a challenge. Some people like to watch the most difficult gameplay, such as Insane Difficulty and Nightmare Speed on 7 Days to Die, while others prefer more lighthearted and entertaining voice commentary with just no matter where your difficulty. I frankly prefer watching the more entertaining videos rather than someone trying to make it as difficult as possible, but that's just me. Now, I know that simply recording my gameplay and publishing it is not likely to be highly captivating, so I'm always looking for a series or a concept that will appeal to viewers. If you have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments of this video even long after it's released. So, thank you again to everyone that watched the series. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I have some ideas, but your ideas are the ones that really matters. So, until next time, good day and happy gaming!